All right, ready to go here. To go so in now for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. Doyle. Looking for his Brenton first Doyle. big league hit right Doyle. here. The wind of the pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. And this one is off and running. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. No ball, two strike. Oh, and two now. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Out towards right center field. Bets on the move. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. And that's in the dirt. Fastball for a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Swing and a miss, and he was full. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next pitch is downstairs. It's a good take. It misses. It's a strikeout. And the Dodgers are coming up to hit. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here with my pal Singy. And on the hill, Antonio Senzatella. And Singy, a special day for him. He's making his Major League debut here. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues. Exciting moment. He's got his family in town. I think this moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career. Shohei Otani stands in now, looks at that one inside. That catches the outside corner. And the count one and one. Here comes the pitch. Swings and misses. And the count is one, one and two. two Swing and a broken bat roller towards third. Grabs it barehanded. In time. Got him. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Mookie Betts. And boo, he leads the team in on-base percentage and runs scored. I mean, those two things are pretty much connected because obviously you can't score without getting on base. This is a guy who really acts as a catalyst for this lineup. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Fall off foul. Two outs. There's a swing and a drive. And that gets down into the gap. Around first and hustling for second. And his first big league hit is a double. Freddie Freeman with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy oh. works so hard and has to wait so long oh, for this to happen. Play. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done. Base hit. Freeman headed for the plate. The throw in. He's safe because he gets his hand in. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. 
Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual nope. accomplishment when you're also driving nope. in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. The one on. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Lead runner makes the turn at second, and that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Teoscar Hernandez with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. One run is in. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score. Two runs are in, and they lead by three. Max Muncy with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... And a superb diving catch. And we're back. We and now, on. Brendan Rogers. Brendan. Well, after putting up a nice yeah. inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Man at first. And now the first baseman, Michael Tolia. Miller, a 6'5 righty. 25 years old, a former first-round pick in 2020. Miller, he isn't really known as the starting pitcher that's going to get you deep into the start. It's not that he's not capable. He just hasn't proven that he can do it yet. He's got such great stuff. You just don't know from start to start whether it's a potential no-hitter or it's a guy that's only going to give you three or four innings. This one popped up. Puts it away for the out. But for the most part, with that kind of stuff, you expect him to get to the middle of the ball game. Jacob That's Stallings now. He's a catcher leader. by trade, Jake but the Jake. DH here in this one. And that one hit 97 on the gun. What does he need to do in order to get deeper into the game? Well, I'd say it's command of the secondary pitches because when you're talking about turning over the order a second and third time and hitters are getting looks, You've got to be able to put a wrinkle on something, change speeds, and locate it enough so that they offer at it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. The Rockies trailing by three here at the top of the second. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. The Rockies strand one. They trail it here, three nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine, Miguel Rojas at the play. The pitch. This to third, McMahon. Gets it to first. One up, one down. Batting none. The second, the second baseman, baseman. Gavin Lux. Lux. And now it's Gavin Lux. In the air to left down the line. And it's That's just it. foul. Popped up. Tobar drifts towards it. Brings it in. And there's two away. Here's Shohei Otani. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. That one is gone. A gigantic blast. 
And they add on. It's 4 nothing. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing so two down now it's Wilkie Betts High fly ball out to center field. Doyle on his way in. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And that is that. Solo shot for the Dodgers this inning. It's now a 4-0 ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now here's Nolan Jones. Miller back to work. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. And the righty deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. And the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And there's one away. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right not there. Not. He got the change up like and one. still late on Four it. You days. rarely see that. It yeah. almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Jordan Beck digging in for the Rockies. Corner for a strike. To the right side. And Freeman, the gold glover, makes the play. Takes it himself. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. So the lineup flips over. Next to hit for the Rockies, Brenton Doyle. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Bounced up the middle into the outfield base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat getting that first hit at the big league level. Brings it in for the third out. So one left for Colorado. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Bottom of the inning, go, and at the go, plate go, for the go, Dodgers, go. Freddie Freeman. The Freddie Freeman. And the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Beck sizes this one up, calls it in, and there's one away. The bat. And up the to the plate hit. is Will Smith. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Gets under and pops it up. Coming on. Makes a nice run and catch. Two down. And now Teoscar Hernandez singled and scored his first time. And that one sliced foul. Two down. Nobody on. Lined into right. Beck makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Dodgers down in order, but they lead it four to nothing. Start of the fourth, down the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. As he turns on the rubber, here with that good live arm delivery. Yeah. That one in triple digits. For all these Rockies, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. 
Rodgers at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. On the ground, right side. Throws the first in time. And a couple of quick outs. The first base is number four. Here's Michael, Michael Tolia. Tolia. And there's a ball. Ball one, no strike. There's the strike of the knees. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. And another ball. That nope. one drifts inside. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. Got it by him for the K. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They trail it here, four nothing. Bottom of the fourth, here's a big power threat. Max Muncy. Now a screamer into the outfield. Squeezes it, and there's one down. Clearly ready to hit right there. First pitch of the inning hits a bullet, and it just is one of those bad luck ABs. Just kind of slice that one into center. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's over one. Here goes the runner. That's the third, and that chance handle rolls across the diamond. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. And stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. Flied out his first time. a base hit. Here comes Edmund around third. The tag and he's safe. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Rush to right. This one's got a chance. Out of here. Home run. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And they add to the lead. It's 7-0. exactly the pitch he was looking for crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark here comes the skipper and we're so the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm Ryan Feltner yeah, this is the best now, way to make your major league off. debut. No one Number on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous. Oh. McMahon fires over to first. And Betts is set down. And that'll do it. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 7 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium, stepping in, Jacob Stallings. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. With all these Rockies just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. 
He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Oh, that's low. Wouldn't chase that time. Close oh, one. Doesn't get the call. Ball two. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And yeah, it skips in the dirt. Side, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. When you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. So, a man aboard. Here's the catcher, Hunter Goodman. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Ball one. Ball one, no strikes. Goodman, 24 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round in 2021. The pitch. And nope, it is two and one. Three balls, one strike. Swings hey, through that two. one for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Two and two. Three. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. The left one. And at first, Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. In there at the knees. And it's 0 and 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work Off out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Hey. Right on that fastball. You tie a guy up like that, you're Two feeling strikes. like you are in command. And That's another ball. ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. <laughs> yeah. Just spit on it. The Rockies with a lot of ground to make up. And we're at the top of the fifth. Off the plate inside. Full count now. And that's ball, ball four. four. That low. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough bats? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Back. Now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Ground ball could be two. To second, there's one double play. And that'll do it for the inning. So they've been held. Ready to go for the. Last half of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. A line to kick the pitch. Line drive, base hit right field. And the leadoff man aboard. The batter now will be Will Smith. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need to do bat. You know, these Dodgers really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Single to score back in the first. He's one for two. And a foul ball. In the air, right field, and that'll fall for a base hit. They won't test it here. Base is loaded, no outs. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Here's Muncie to hit. Ground ball to first, could be two. To the plate for one. Plenty of time at first, that's a double play. And here comes Tommy Edmond, one for two. Flair 
fires it into the outfield. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Two left on. Back here in L.A., started the six. John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Brenton Doyle. Righty reliever out of the pen, Evan Phillips. On for his major league debut, and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. And here is Ezekiel Tovar. Lux touches the bag for one. Now the throw to first on the hey, run. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. Good offside run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Hey. And a swing and a miss there. Oh, two is the count. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball. If you're the pitcher, hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. And here it comes. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Freeman brings it in. And that's the third out. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. Eight, nine, ones. And we're back. Bottom of the six. And the batter will be the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. That one the other way. And it's caught for the out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting. drive that finds a glove but you will get some high fives you know when you make great contact you feel like you've done everything right but in this game of baseball not everything is in your control and it finds its way through for a hit so the one out hit turns the lineup over went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle didn't try to do too much with it just a really controlled simple swing we don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that Smoke to right center, and this one's going to go out of here. A massive home run. That's his third home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 9-0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. Three-homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun to watch him pull it off as well. One down. Here's Mookie to hit. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. And first offering is fouled off. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score, and not as lopsided as this. Um, but yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. One gone runner at first. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. On the ground, could be two. Rodgers, the Ouch. throw to second, on the first double play, and that's the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 9 nothing. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine, top of inning number seven. And now the first baseman, Michael Tolia. Phillips back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's through there for a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Oh, 
Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. Stolen. Batted with one down. Takes a strike. That's a strike. Oh, and connect on the curveball struck him out. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Two outs. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a th And welcome back. Back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh. And the batter now, Will Smith. And the right hander back to work. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I could see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Righty delivers. And that one fouled off. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. One burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. The third base is number 13. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Cal yeah. Quantrill. On for his major league debut, so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands, and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself, that one ripped. And foul as it bangs off the fence. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. But no advance from the runners. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone by the time it got to the plate. And people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. And first offering is fouled off. All oh, one there. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Justin Lawrence getting loose out there. Espinosa, a left-hander, also throwing. In the air on the infield. And the infield fly is called. Now it's the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Lifted in the air, right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that will... Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Ryan Brazier. And he's got a nice lead to work with. So he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. So in now for Colorado, Nolan Jones. He's 0 for 1. Liner, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now it's the right fielder, Jordan Beck. Well, 
the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Down the line. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. The 1-1. One -one. That one fouled off. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip the cap. Doyle in the box now, no balls and a strike. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Hernandez reaching back towards the wall, and it's off the wall. Coming home. He'll score. It's 9-1. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation hey. under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Ground ball, left oh, side, and foul ball. And it's second. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Yeah, just yeah, nasty. Yeah. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone. And then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. McMahon in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Ground ball up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting... Back here at Dodgers... Stadium. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. And a base hit in the right center field. And that turns the lineup over. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he made it out front for the line drive now. It's through for him. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. And it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked and he got it done. Doyle makes the grab. One away. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freeman hits it in the air. On the move. And he makes the catch. Rounder tags it second. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Will Smith, the next to hit. Out to short. Sends it to Talia, and they get the out on Smith. Back here in L.A., all set for the start of the inning. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Brazier back to work. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Right. Sometimes within the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And there's a foul ball. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swinging. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Stolen. Stands in now and watches strike one. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Kicks and fires. 
Foul ball still 0 and 2. Rodgers over at first with one away. And a swing and a miss. And to Elena. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So. They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. He's had a tough day at the one plate. Ball, Three break. strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Brazier is just one strike away. Ground ball, and this should do it. Throw to first, ball game. And the Dodgers take this one in a blowout. Miller with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case, as he should. A start he won't ever forget. 9-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Yeah.